typical day. I'll be in, I'll get in the car every morning, and um, either I'll go out to find stories out in the city, or I'll find somewhere to write my stories and make phone calls and you know and be on the computer. I'm, I'm Corey Kilgannon. I'm a reporter for the New York Times. Well, two or three years ago. Uh, one of the editors um, asked me if I wanted to do a regular Sunday column called Character Study, which would be basically a profile of, uh, you know, a new, comes like a New Yorker of the Week, I like to, like to call it for simplicity's sake, and I would go, you know, I basically go around and try to find interesting people, compelling people, eccentric, quirky, funny. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it'll turn into a story, maybe it's... It has to be really right for this column. So everyone has an uncle or an aunt or a boss or a client that they think is perfect and they're not. How are you? Where's the Haitian guy who's a mechanic here? Mechanic? Is he here? My guy? Yeah, the street mechanic. Yeah. You know, the older fella. 11.30. Huh? 11.30? 11 11.30? Yeah. But in the rain, he'll, he'll be here, you think? Okay. In the rain, will he be yeah, here? Yeah, he's coming. Okay. I want to get in touch with the guy who gives these long... I, I'm, not, I'm serious. I want with the guy who gives okay. these infomercials for, like, BioCleanse or whatever the product yeah. is, you know? Um, I called the station, like, months, you know, maybe even, like, a year ago asking the same thing and like I left my message and no one ever got back it's, to me. It's not, it's hardly like reporting to an office and like punching in and punching out, you know. It's interesting and it's always different and it's something of my own making. It's been like a niche of mine uh, to write, you know, write about people, write about New Yorkers and that's what I'm interested in. I like people, I get a kick out of them. Daytime is for finding stories and like, you know, the nighttime and the, you know, <sighs> you know the time, there's a time to find them and there's a time to write them, you know. And I find just because I'm a little hyperactive or whatever you call it, ADD. Uh, it's harder for me to like, oh, I'm going to sit down in the middle of the day and write my story. You know, like I'm kind of jumpy, you know, and I want to talk to people. That's why I want to, I'm more active. I want to like, you know, get out there. And New York Times guys are looking for you. We want to meet, meet up. We want to write you up for the New York Times because everybody knows you in this neighborhood. This guy's a kimchi salesman. Like he walks around with like some kind of briefcase or whatever, like trying to interest people in like buying kimchi. This job is so like, Fact driven and cerebral and stressful, that it's you need something that's like not that. You know, I dropped music for a while when I was doing this new stuff, and I was really like, because I didn't have time and all this stuff, and then I realized like I needed something else. You know? Like, I have a trumpet, I keep my trumpet in the car. I'll play music with them, I'll ride a bike with them, whatever they're doing, I'll go with them, you know, and uh, because I because that's what I would do anyway, you know, and uh, you know, you meet interesting people every week, you gotta get, you get involved with their lives, you know, for a short time, but you know, you. Sometimes, you know, fairly deeply, you get to ask them whatever you want. It's like you kind of get to live with them a little bit, you know, each week.